Dennis Ploys here with the latest edition of Jeff Go Prepped with Ploys. We'll dive right into Class 5A football playoff action at the North Area Athletic Complex. <laughs> Number one seed Pomona faced Bear Creek in a playoff opener under the lights. The Panthers and head coach Jay Madden were clearly fired up for the start of a promising long postseason run. Pomona is one of the favorites to bring home the 5A state title this season. Here, Bear Creek senior Brian Sanchez was able to haul in a screen pass, but Pomona junior Tanner Kimino closed in quickly to make the tackle. Pomona's ground game was sharp, racking up more than 200 yards rushing between running backs Max Borgie, Cameron Gonzalez, and quarterback Ryan Marcus. Marcus also threw a pair of touchdown passes in the 42-26 victory. He gave a lot of credit to the big guys up front. Offense really, they, they played their heart out today. The offensive line especially, they, they killed it for us. They, they got pushed off the ball, they got pushed on that line, had uh, holes open for Cam and Max all day. Next, we head to the Denver Coliseum, where 5A Jeffco League champion Chatfield made a third straight appearance at the state volleyball tournament. The Chargers advanced to the semifinals with a dramatic five-set victory over Chaparral. After trailing two sets to zero, Chatfield roared back. Here, Chatfield senior Haley Jacobson serves the game-winning point against Chaparral. The Chargers players and fans celebrated the come-from-behind victory. The Chargers season ended the following day with a five-set loss to eventual state champion Fossil Ridge. Chatfield finished with a 25 and three record. Jeffco teams didn't come up short in bringing home state titles from the state gymnastics meet at Thornton High School. Green Mountain claimed the 4A team title and Pomona repeated as 5A state champions. Pomona junior Kelsey Boychek successfully defended her individual state title in the vault. Pomona sophomore Brooke Wines had an impressive state meet, becoming the individual all-around state champion along with winning the beam event in 5A. Here, Freshman Kaylee Burns completes a successful tumbling run during her floor routine. The Young Panthers have a shot at a team three-peat next year with plenty of returning talent. Green Mountain claimed its third team title over the past decade, winning the 4A team championship. Camille DePaula stepped up to the winner stand in the 4A event final and hugs teammate Emily Graham. Graham placed second in the floor and won the bars event. I mean, I think we definitely had our goal set high, but like we didn't want to be too overly confident. We wanted to attain our goal and work hard and see what we could do because we knew we had it in place. Stanley Lake Jr. Rachel Cody continued the dominance by Jeffco. Cody repeated as the 4A all-around champion and finished in the top four in three of the individual event finals. It was National Letter of Intent signing day on November 9th. Several Jeffco schools held celebrations for student athletes inking with colleges to play at the next level. <laughs>
Lakewood boys swim coach Jennifer Snowbird got emotional talking about her son Blaze, who signed with the University of the Cumberlands in Connecticut. It's a fine line between coach and parent, and I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to be your coach for four years, and I'm going to miss you next year. The winter season will quickly be upon us. Here's a look at some early events in December to check out. Be sure to check out chassanow.com backslash Jeffco for more Jeffco coverage along with our athletic Facebook page and on Twitter at Jeffco Athletics. <laughs>